This data set will be used to demonstrate various um, quantitative time series forecasting techniques. Note the actual sales column. The data has been observed is in whole numbers. The data that will happen in the future is in parentheses. This is just a teaching technique that allows us to do forecasts over many time periods. Our naive actual forecast simply assumes the next period forecast will be the same as the period that just happened. The naive delta forecast includes the delta or difference between the two previous actual periods. It improves the forecast uh, for data moving in a linear uh, fashion. Moving average forecast smooths results by taking out the random peaks and valleys in the data. The smoothing causes the forecast to react slower, but it averages out, so we give out a little response for some smoothing. A three-month moving average uses the last three actual months of data and moves from time period to time period. Here is an example of a four-month moving average. The latest four months are averaged together. Notice when we move from May to June, uh, the data switches, uh, so we drop off one data and we enter another. The weighted moving average adds a weight or importance to the average. In this example of a three-month weighted moving average, the latest month has greater importance than the month that's three time periods out. The weight is multiplied by the actual data and then the three months are summed together. Since the probability of the weights equals 100%, the sum of our weight value is our forecast. This is an example that demonstrates the weight for each period in the resulting forecast.